today is going to be an amazing day, very exciting, because Ntombi will be moved from the hospital over to the big wildlife rehab center. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Shamari TV. We have really, really amazing news with regards to Ntombi, the orphaned white rhino calf that came to us a couple of weeks ago. Today is going to be an amazing day, very exciting, because Ntombi will be moved from the hospital over to the big wildlife rehab center. There's a ton of people involved that will help us along the way. It's going to be slightly stressful, but we have high hopes that it will go very smoothly. She has been doing incredibly well, so she is beyond the intensive stage, so we are going to hopefully create a bit of a passive system where we put her into a crate. I'm going to try and lure her into the crate with some milk and do it that way, it's the least stressful way. Hopefully that'll work, otherwise we've got to try plan B. So that went incredibly well, um, definitely not what I expected, what I hoped for. So now that she's in the crate, we're going to head over to the Wildlife Rehabilitation Centre. Her plan for the next few months is I will be spending a little less time with her but I know that it's in her best interest as she is definitely in good hands that side with Lisa and Wussy. What will happen is they will be her primary caregivers along with the sheep and they will slowly start reducing the amount of time that they spend with her until it's just Ntombi and the sheep and we will keep them in the enclosure there up at uh, WRC until she has finished her milk program and we'll slowly start moving her onto more natural food products before she's ready to go back to the wild. Previously we've had quite a lot of experience when it comes to rhino rehabilitation in particular. For this reason we actually saw that sheep work really well as a companion animal with a rhino. They eat the same food and they also like to graze together. The idea is that the sheep becomes her companion animal to break the bond that has been formed with humans. Eventually, Ntombi will learn to relate with animals rather than humans, hence it's a lot more hands-off at this facility than at the wildlife hospital. The drive went very well. She was actually quite relaxed. She lay down for a bit. So and we are now at the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. The sheep is also in a crate and we are about to offload her. So we'll see how it goes. Hi, Tops. It's okay, my baby. Hi, okay. Hello baby, welcome to your new home. Hey, hello, it's okay, it's okay my second. Hi. Hello baby, well done. Well done. I would like to say thank you for all of your sleepless nights, literally um, raising and rescuing a baby rhino is no joke. It takes a lot of sleepless hours, a lot of stress. So well done to you and all the vets involved. Um, we are super happy to have a year. So well done to you. You know where to find her if you miss her. Absolutely. 
and um, obviously you guys watching from home, we will keep you updated with Ntombi's entire journey until the big day, the release.